In order to access the database, we have to set up a connection in our Perl script. Here I've just set up the basic beginning parts of our Perl script, the shebang line, and I've used the CGI module to provide the header. In order to connect to the database, we need to use the DBI module. So let's add that line in straight after the CGI one. And now that we've done that, let's set up a connection to our database. And we do this by creating a database handle. And I'm going to call this con for connection. And a database handle is what's returned by a certain method of the DBI module. And we call that method like this. Similar syntax, as you can see, to using the CGI module. We give the package name and then the little arrow symbol there. And the method that we want to call is connect. And this sets up the handle for the database that we're wanting to connect to. The connect method takes three arguments. The first of these is the connection to the database parameters. Let's actually move this outside of our connect call to the connect method. And we're going to set up a variable called params. Now our params scalar variable is going to contain several things. It has to begin with DBI, then a colon, and then the name of the database that we're trying to connect to, the particular database software that we're using. In this case, we're going to be using MySQL as an example. However, whatever database name you are going to be working with should be included here after that colon. Then we use another colon, and then we use the name of the particular database, as in the data structure, rather than as in the database software that we're going to connect to. That's the name of the database we're going to be connecting to on the remote host. And finally, we need to give the name of the host that we're going to connect to. Now, I just mentioned the remote host, but it's only going to be remote in the sense of it's not in the same room as me. As far as the Perl script goes, it's going to be on the same server and therefore is going to be localhost because we're running our Perl script from the remote host. So those are the parameters that the DBI connect method takes as its first argument. We also need to give two other arguments to the DBI connect method. First of which is the username and then the password. So let's set up some variables for that here as well. This is the username that I've set up specifically for this. And finally, here is the password. Rest assured that by the time this CD becomes public, this user will have been taken down and the password removed. It's very important that passwords and usernames such as this are kept hidden away from view. So now we've been able to set up our database connection and created a database handle. In our next movie, we're going to see how we can work using this handle to actually carry out procedures that interact with our database.